part of the problem of uh, equating legitimate political speech. We think the Palestinians have uh, the right to a government. We think that uh, the IDF is committing genocide. Perfectly legitimate political statements. She's equating that with violence. Exactly. I mean, what she represents is a fundamental threat to academia and to the United States at large, the broader society. I mean, it's just a terrible situation that we're in. Uh, you know, what she's trying to do is talk about tactics that these protesters are using that are so dangerous. What kind of threats do we see that are so dangerous on college campuses? Yes, at one or two places, the students have taken over the administration building or a different building. Uh, this happened in the late 1960s. It's yes. not that big a deal. Uh, those students should be punished for taking over a building. Okay. But uh, the, the, the talk, I mean, the, the idea that these students are terrorists, and you noticed how she linked them with terrorists, is just nonsense. She said they were terrorists because they wore Palestinian headbands and replayed a speech by Osama bin Laden. This is crazy. You're allowed to do that. People can sympathize with Hamas. I understand why many Americans, including many American Jews, for sure, do not like to hear that kind of rhetoric. They don't right. like their people sympathizing with Hamas. But this is the United States of America. And you're allowed to say that you sympathize with Hamas. And you're allowed to say that you sympathize with what the IDF is doing in Gaza. That's what freedom of speech is all about. But again, the thing you have to understand, Judge, is that once you open up these debates and allow people to say what they want, this does enormous damage to Israel's image in the United States. It does enormous damage to the lobby and to the U.S.-Israeli relationship. And they don't want that. 